Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back today to do a quick themed reading that um, is inspired by a hornet's nest that I found in the woods a few days ago. And I was curious because I'm a curious person to see what the spiritual meaning of a hornet was. And um, I found this amazing blog post, which blew my mind. And the themes that she talked about were surrendering to chaos. And the idea that from chaos comes an opportunity or miracle. Or from chaos comes a singularity. And this has come up in my life personally recently. Um, this concept of the bee of this the bee or the hornet or the wasp um you know and the stinger as a singularity as almost like a truth serum and the message is to remember even as bad as things get as chaotic as things can get there's an opportunity that can come um like she was saying from a situation or a set of circumstances which you think is impossible um, to overcome or something that you think is impossible to have, you can have it because the chaos creates a singularity. And I was thinking about creation and how, you know, everything was created, um, the earth was created from singularity, okay? Um, and from singularities, they can cause great chaos. So, a singularity can cause great chaos, okay? Something very small can cause very something very big, similar to the pebble, my theme of the pebble. Um, and out of chaos can come an opportunity or a miracle. And so I'm outside today because I recorded two other times. Um, the first time I ran out of memory at four minutes and then I recorded a full video, which for whatever reason my camera did not capture like the video wasn't was def defective or something um i don't know so i'm back here again i'm sitting outside i don't have much memory i don't know how much time but i was like you know i'm gonna record this anyways um, and put it out there because i really wanted to put this information out there and some of the some of the themes of the chaos energy that i saw in the reading i just want to mention was the energy of um overwhelm and the energy of being a little bit fearful or being a little bit under pressure we're having a lot of chaotic things going on around you at work potentially or feeling pressure from work and career I also saw for some people um, chaos around a wedding and I also saw chaos around uh, moving, potentially. But these are things that are very natural. Like, weddings usually cause a certain amount of chaos. Moving naturally causes chaos. So, I definitely feel like it's very normal, actually. The messages that I saw. Um, I'm going to pull some cards to see what the singularities are. Um, I did see a singularity as... Um, something that could happen miraculously within a month's time i also saw singularity as being like uh, a day where you were going to be very very happy um or just feeling like your cup is very very full um in contrast to that there's some of you might be feeling very very blue um or heartbroken or cut up about a relationship it doesn't have to be something that you're in it could just be somebody in your life that's really hurt you in some way um, I also saw there being some, I want to say chaos around legalities, um, say some chaos around estates, some chaos around divorce. Um, and I wanted to like pull some cards to see what other singularities we got. Okay. So I'm just going to pull some cards. I have a bag here. I'm going to move that. Um, while I'm pulling some cards, I do want to say a big shout out to Doris and Izzy for donating. Oh my god, I was able to get a shower um, in, I think, a period of like almost three weeks. I've showered, I think, twice 
Um, I all donations go towards right now showering. They go towards um, my storage unit. My storage unit I'm trying to fundraise for, and that's ninety two dollars. And food and gas. So um, all donations are appreciated. Thank you so much to everybody who's been amazing. It's been a really wild ride the last month, um, especially. And I'm um, just happy to be recording and putting things out there. So, um, so yeah, this was the King of Cups. That was the happiness that I saw. I do see in a negative sense, a singularity might be something that somebody says to you that can be, that could be hurtful. That maybe they say on purpose, you know, or something that says somebody says that gets under your skin. Um, you know, the whole concept of the bee is the stinger, right? We've got that stinger. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. So one of the miracles that I did see, which was a singularity, which would be unexpected money flowing in um, at a time where you're really, really SOL potentially. Um, do you want to shout out to Sarah Rebecca Warren, who... For whatever reason, her donations always come in at a time where I am really SOL. So I want to say a big shout out to Sarah, um, Rebecca War, and also Ten May, who's also been amazing, um, saving my ass just through this whole process. Wouldn't be alive for those without those two two people. But um, so yeah, so singularity there. Um, I did also want to say for some of you, the singularity is going to be like your ship coming in. Now. I know that like it's going to sound kind of woo-woo for me to say that, but the ship coming in is probably something that you're not expecting. Like, okay, I'm going to adjust my legs here for a second. I want to say that this, the ship coming in is going to be different for everybody, but like we can get into periods of our life, I think, where we think... You know, when is it going to happen for me? Like, when is a relationship going to happen? When is it going to happen for finances? Or when, when am I going to get ahead in career? Or when I'm going to be, you know, fulfilled? All these questions that I consider to be kind of like waiting for your ship to come in. So there's going to be something that comes in for you. And you might be very surprised to find out what that is. Um, I feel like for some of you, it is some kind of financial element. Um, something that comes in right at the perfect time doesn't necessarily have to be like gifted. It could be something that's owed to you or something that should have come in a while ago or something that maybe someone owes you from the long time ago. Uh, it could be years ago. Um, you know, my guides told me sometimes, you know, you sign up for those like class action things where you get like maybe 20 or $30 in the mail so maybe one of those things comes through. You got like a check in the mail and it's been like for, you've been waiting on it for a really long time and it comes at the perfect time. Something like that is like another singularity. Um, I do feel like a wedding proposal or something that comes through regarding love is a singularity. Obviously this would be a singularity because for many of you, I do not see this happening again in your lifetime. Like they will propose, you will say yes. And you will be together. Um, and you'll have, I want to say, a beautiful life together. Um, that's a singularity as well. Um, I want to say the chaos, there's chaos around balance uh, for some of you. And... There's chaos around things that you're... Um, that you've got going on that are taking too much of your time and energy. There's not a lot of balance around your time and energy. Um, oh, and this was, this is, I'm going to leave off here. There is a victory coming for some of you. So you're going to win on something. Now, I don't necessarily feel like this is lottery stuff, guys. Okay. I definitely feel like this is more like it's a personal win. Or you win somehow in your life or in some way. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, I will send everyone big hugs and big kisses. I know this video is going to cut off any second. Thank you guys so much for being amazing fans and followers. I wish you guys all the best. Take care. Bye, guys.